Hello everyone. So today I'll try to speak in English so that I don't have to write a an English subtitle for this video. Please uh, be considerate <laughs> and don't make fan of my English. <laughs> so today we're going to review again the Beko refrigerator. We bought it June 2020 and today is uh, June 13, 2023. So it's already it's already three years since we bought it five months after we bought it uh, I made a review and you can browse it in my channel after that you can continue watching this video so what I like about this ref is that I don't have to uh, defrost it manually uh, or uh, I don't have to defrost it at all unlike the traditional ref refrigerator brands we had before is that uh, there's an auto defrost yes but uh, the problem is that I had to take out the water uh, behind the ref and uh, throw it somewhere and it's it's something that I don't like and also it will build uh, an ice inside the freezer so that's what I don't like about uh, those traditional refrigerator and this thing right here is the one that I really really like because after three years without turning it off it's working 24 7 and this is what it's look like inside this is the freezer this is the fish it's still very frozen and uh, there's a minimal uh, moist in the side walls of the freezer so let me turn on the light first. Ah, it's torn on. It's still dark. So yeah, still very it's it's very easy to maintain. As you can see here there's some dirt. I believe we can still clean this up if we want to. Yeah, there's no major damage also in the in the in the rubber. That's good. So when we close the refrigerator. Uh, what it will do is that um, the there's a fan inside. Oh, let me open this again. There's a there's a fan that will turn on or operate and will try to suck uh, almost all of the air inside the freezer. And maybe that's I think that's the reason why the ice will not build up in the walls and in the ground because. Uh, the humidity of the ref was like uh, very low let's check the lower part we don't have a lot of items right now there's there's a fan again here and it will turn on this sensor when you close the door still works and there's also another sensor that uh, when you let the when you keep the door open for like a minute I think it will beep and the uh, light will flash so this part right here there's no rust uh, yeah it's still it's just dirt here it's also good the side the side wall there's no major damage um, the exterior um, this this finish right here some scratches and some like the paint uh, is a little off already maybe because of the this is where we place our hand when we open the freezer and sometimes our hands are wet um, let me try to focus this part there's no rust also there's no I, I haven't seen any signs of corrosion the only change that we made to this refrigerator is that uh, we took off uh, its feet so that uh, it will fit uh, in this area here. The, the reason is that um, the installer of the tiles when we uh, changed it is that was not able to calculate the finish uh, height of the flooring and if we keep the feet of this refrigerator it will not fit 
because of the hanging cabinet. So yeah, the Beko brand is very different because uh, it will not uh, make you turn off the ref and get the water discharge uh, behind or in front of the ref. This is operating 24 seven for three years and it will only goes off if there's a brownout here in our area. And that's all, I guess. If you have any questions, you can uh, write it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.